We're going to take a look at dividing polynomials. This will be the first method, box method. Okay, so to understand how to divide, you have to know how to multiply. So when you're multiplying, you're going to put it 2x minus 3, the first one on the height, and then the second one as the row. So multiply those boxes, you're going to get 8x cubed. 2 times x is 2, x times x is x squared. 2 times 6 is 12, and then I just have an x. All right, negative 3 times 4 is negative 12, and then I just have x squared. Negative 3 times x, negative 3x. Negative 3 times 6, negative 18. So you first have to understand how to multiply in order to divide. And then if you notice the diagonals, they have the same term, which means I can combine them. So it's going to be 8x cubed, then combining the diagonals, that's going to be negative 10x squared. Combining that diagonal is going to be plus 9x, and then minus 18. So when I multiply these two, this is what I get. It's the same thing as dividing, only going to work it backwards. So when I multiply it, I get 8x cubed minus 10x squared plus 9x minus 18. And then I can choose if I divide it by the 2x minus 3, I'll get that. If I divide it by 4x squared plus x plus 6, I get 2x minus 3. So we're going to do the first one. So I'm going to see, okay, if I take my answer and divide it by 2x minus 3, what will I get? So draw a box, and then you're going to keep extending the boxes you need. So let's write down step 2. Write down the divisor as the height of the box. So doing the first one, we're dividing, so the divisor is 2x minus 3 as the height, so 2x minus 3. And then you're going to take the first term of the numerator in the first square, that's 8x to the third power. All right, now use that to fill in a and b. So just like we multiplied before, 2 times something is 8, that's got to be 4. x times something is x cubed, that's got to be x squared. So check it, that's right. Now fill in the next one, negative 3 times 4 is negative 12. And then you just have the x squared. Now remember, okay, so now that you have that, the diagonals, okay, have that same variable, right? So that diagonal has to be the same as the x squared term. So that diagonal, when you add it up, has to be negative 10x squared. So I have negative 12x squared. I need it to be negative 10. I'm going to add 2x squared. Now if I combine that, it's going to give me what I'm looking for, negative 10x. So now I use that to find um, d and e. So again, just like you did before, 2 times something is 2, that's going to be 1. x times something is x squared, that's going to be x. The bottom one, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, then you just have the x. And again, the same thing, the diagonal has to give me the x term. So when I combine those diagonals, I should get 9x. Right now I have negative 3, so I need to add 12x. So, so again, using negative 3x plus 12x, 2 times what negative, is 12? The 9 I'm looking for. It's got to be 6. 2 times 6 is 12, and then you just have the x. Last box, negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. If that negative 18 is what it is, so you keep repeating the cycle until if your numerator is the number in your numerator, you're done. So negative 18 is in my um, original one, so that's good, I'm done. There's no remainder. But if it's not, there is a remainder. But in this case, there's no remainder. So that's my answer, which makes sense, right? Because we already multiplied those two to find the answer. We were looking for. All right, so let's do another one. We'll start with multiplication first so we can check our answers. Again, you know, the first one put it as the height, and the second one put it as the row. All right, so then we're going to multiply it out. So 2 times 2 is 4, and x times x squared is x cubed. And the order doesn't matter. Negative 7 times 2 is negative 14, and I just have x squared. 2 times 2 is 4, x times x is x squared. Negative 7 times 2 is negative 14, then I just have the x. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 with the x, and then negative 7 times negative 1 is positive 7. And again, remember the diagonals match, right? So combine the diagonals, that's going to be negative 10x squared. Combine those diagonals, negative 16x plus 7. So now we're going to go backwards. So I have my answer. I'm going to divide it by something, so that 2x minus 7. So again, you put that, the divisor is your height, and then you put the first term in the first box. Then do the same thing. 2 times something is 4 x times something is x cubed. So that's going to be 2 times 2 and x squared. Negative 7 times 2 is 14, then you have the x squared. Now again, your diagonals, right, have to be the x squared value, negative 10x. I have negative 14, so I'm going to add 4x to that, and it's going to give me what I'm looking for. So, neg uh, so 4x squared. Then fill in the box again, so d and e. So 2 times 2 is 4, x times x is x squared. Negative 7 times 2 is negative 14, and you just have the x. And again, your diagonals have to be your x term. So I'm looking for negative 16 has to be negative 2x. Then fill out the boxes again to fill out g and h. So 2 times something is negative 2. It's got to be negative 1. And then the last box is going to be negative. It's going to be positive 7. If the last number is that what you're looking for. So right now I have 7 and 7, it's I'm done. 
But if I didn't have seven, then I would have a remainder. And I'll show you that in the next example. So the answer is what's on the top. Okay. All right, let's do another example. So again, your height of the box is your divisor. So x plus three is the height. And I'm drawing it in the box by mistake. All right, the first term, the first term of your numerator goes in the first box, so 2x cubed. All right, then once again, x times something is 2x cubed. That's going to be 2x squared. Check it. Then 3 times 2 is 6. Then you have the x squared. Those have to add up to negative. Oh, there's no x squared. So what does that mean? It's 0 because it's not there. So that has to add up to 0. So if I have 6x squared, that's got to be negative 6x squared. And then fill it out. x times... Um, or invisible 1 is going to be negative 6 and then x and then that's going to be negative 18 and then just the x and again this has to be the x term so negative 5 so I'm going to have to add what 13 x okay just double check yeah that's right x times 13 will give me 13 x and then the last one be 3 times 13 which would be 39 now look at this that's not 14 I need 14 at the end I don't have 14 at the end I must make it 14 so what that means is that I'm going to have a remainder so I have to make those diagonals equal to 14 so how would I make that equal to 14 I would subtract 25 now it's equal to 14 all right which means that negative 25 is my remainder so how do I write that out I write the top the top of the box out so 2x squared minus 6x plus 13 and then my remainder minus 25 over my divisor which is x plus 3 and that's it I'm just gonna start you off and see if you can finish it so your divisor is your height and then you're gonna start off with putting your first term in the first box see if you can finish this question let's practice